What's up guys? You might have picked up an HP printer that looks like this. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up scan to email. You probably think you could just hit scan and scan to email and you'll be in business. But no, this feature needs to be set up on the browser. And for you to access the browser, you need to know your IP address first. So you go to home, click on the wireless antenna, click on the network, and then you see your IP address, 192.168.1.169. This is mine, yours will be different. Before, you could just set up SMTP or POP access or IMAP access from your Gmail settings, but now Google stopped that access. Now we're gonna look into how to set up access so we could use our Gmail account to email our scanned items. So if you see on this page, less secure apps in your Google account, Google stopped allowing you to use your Gmail password on May 30th, 2022. They don't want you to access your Gmail in a less secure way. You have to set up two-factor. Two-factor, you'll either get a text message to your cell phone or you can use the Google Authenticator app. Well, if you're trying to scan to email, how will you get a prompt for 2FA on your scanner? So now the solution is use an app password. So we're gonna have to create an app password within Gmail. This is gonna be a less secure way to access your Gmail, but you cannot use this password to go to a browser and log into your Gmail account. Let's open a browser and go to the IP of our printer. You want to hit advanced when you get the connection is not private and then proceed. Over here, you'll see the web page of your printer scanner. Now open another tab and you're going to go to myaccount.google.com. We're going to sign into our account. I just made a dummy account for this video. This is going to be your password for your Google account. You're going to sign in and we're going to go to security. Now you see, I don't have two step verification set up. You're going to want to click on two step and get started. I just blurred out my cell phone, but you could put in your cell phone number. You'll get a text message with a code, and then you punch in the code. Great, now two step is on. So you can scroll, you can see two step, you click on two step verification, and now we have a section for app passwords. Now we're gonna call this something simple, scan to email, and this app password, once it pops up, you cannot edit it, so you have to copy it or write it down. I'm gonna copy it, hit done. Now we go back to the browser to our web page for our printer, click on scan, and we have to make an outgoing email profile. This is gonna be your email address. The display name is gonna be something that pops up on the little screen of the printer. The SMTP server is going to be smtp.gmail.com and we're going to have to use a secure port, which is 465. You click on TLS and you also click SMTP server with crowds authentication. The SMTP user ID is going to be email address. This SMT password is going to be your app password. So just paste that in. The pin is optional and we're going to save and test. Great, now it works. Now let's go ahead and test it out. We're at the scanner, we're gonna input a document, scan, scan to email, and you see now we have email address. We hit scan, and now you see the image scan, and go to your Gmail. Let's go check it out.
so we have it set to come in as a PDF. So you'll see the email came right in, comes in as an attachment. We can go ahead and open the email. Now I just wrote something on a piece of paper and scanned it, but then you could open it with Google Docs. The cool thing is it'll transcribe your handwriting into something that's typed into a document. It kind of got it. Now let's go ahead and close that. There's also other options. Uh, you could save it to your Google Drive. You could also download it or print it, or you could just keep it in your inbox. Some of the details saves it as a PDF as well as a size. It doesn't take up too much space, so you could store all of these in your Google Drive. Now you might come across the situation where you want to email to scan document to someone else. Uh, using the little screen on the printer, it is very tough to type. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a couple of addresses in our email address book. So in the contact name, you can name it anything you want. And in the contact email, you could put the email of the person you want these emails to go to. And you could also set up another email. And the cool part is once you scan, you could change the settings to send it to yourself, send it to everyone on the list, or send it to a specific person on this list. Let's go back over to our scanner. We're gonna scan the document. And now we click on the two, and you see all the other addresses that we set up. And then once we hit scan, it's gonna send the scanned image to these three email addresses. Cool, now you see the other uh, document pop right up. So there you have it. Now you can use your Gmail account to scan to email. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys. It took me a lot of time to figure out how to get this uh, done. And uh, I figured I'd make a video just to show how easy it was to set up and you don't have to waste time like I did. Google wants you to use your Gmail in a secure way, but we have to use our Gmail sometimes to do certain tasks like this. This also goes for if you need to set up some device to send that emails to yourself, you can use this app password in the same way how you used to use the POP, IMAP, and SMTP access. Well guys, thanks for watching.